Okay, let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, I'm gonna add some color here and try some blending. Let's see this one, I'm gonna go a little warmer. Let's see how that works. We'll have it like at fifty percent. Um, you know, soft brush and have it in transfer make sure you have your transfer on so um, we're probably going to add it on the bottom here so like the dark area and let's see we'll go like this little pinky some here that thing uh, here and it kind of looks like it's burned or something but I'll show you so, okay to start uh, blending stuff um, you're gonna use the sampling a lot which is um, alt so like right here where it gets a little let me zoom in okay when it starts kind of blending on its own because you're using a soft brush you can sample that color not the main one but this one and then continue it and you can go over the area where you already painted and they'll start blending it even more and then you can continue this or if you want a more you know pure color just go back to some more samples where you haven't changed it yet and then put the color back if you went a little too far or not enough and you can even sample this one and then go back on here kind of blend it in maybe this one needs a little more here just to give it a little bit of hint of the difference in color okay for right now Not too much up here so okay looks all right and then um, we can add a highlight so same thing you sample the main color go here and try to get a lighter one you can go maybe even up to here and um, you can have it put here. Um, usually, whites are harder to see, so when it's kind of light already, so we can do this. Put like highlight there, maybe a little highlight here. Now we can just start sampling. Like uh, we'll put a little more or a little less. And when you are putting back some darker color make sure you put the opacity down because it'll overtake the white really quickly so we'll do that put more and I blend it in and uh, it might be hard to see on on this because of the skin color but I'll show you how to do it on the um, on probably the leather or shirt or coat, so you can uh, see it a little better. And then you can just go here. 
Um, yeah, let's see how it looks. Uh, looks a little more, a little more depth. And try not to use just darker uh, color for whatever color. Try to use a warmer color for like the shadow areas. It looks a little better than just darker. You know, it'll look dirty. Um, and that looks, looks kind of shiny, I guess. But, um, yeah. Hey, look who that is. <laughs> okay, so let me reply to you real quick. Just do that so you can kind of see. And um, I'll do this one real quick. All right. And I see that you did some texturing there already. That's good. Let's see. We'll sample the lighter one. We'll go here. We'll try to get a. No. This one, I guess it will work since it's kind of leatherish uh, jacket. You can just go here. Don't just go down. Let's go to the side and get something like this. And since we have the little bebe here with the light coming from the top, we can see that this fold probably will be darker down here and lighter up here. So, so at here, some of this, and I think that's kind of light. erase it okay then just kind of since I'm using a soft brushes and pen tablet is kind of easy to blend and And the folds are kind of hard, though. I'll, I'll fix it right now. So we'll pick this, get a lighter one. And get some right here. The blend is going to be probably in between um, right here. there so you can see the fold completely and then get back this one and since there's more shadow here I'm gonna have to add it kind of start kind of blending a little bit sample and then try to kind of bring it in again always try to draw in between and um, that way it'll look This one I'm trying to make it look like it's folded correctly, but uh, sometimes the uh, clothing folds really sharp, and in that case uh, we can do something up here. I'll do it more hard, but it, it's not really blending, so you just have to put like hard color. 
kind of like here I guess yeah this one that'll be more of a non blending because it's really folded so kind of like that I mean I kind of went over the black outline here so it's kind of weird let's put it back So, if you continue, let me see if I can make it so I can still see your. city or can I give it a little more and then now uh, you can do that um, for the hair you might have to do strings like lines and then um, for the highlight just do it across like um, hair. one might take a little bit but um, we can do a let's see if I remember this correctly do a, a Still did wrong, but uh, let's see if I can. Is that the one? 
Who I think it was that one, but I did it wrong. Um, I'll redo that one and show you. But if you do it correctly, <laughs> you can um, do it somewhat like this. Uh, I think I can fix it just by. Kind of like that. I mean, you can probably use the blur too, but and if make sure there's an overlay that that will you know change the color also on, and then you can just. But I mean, like it'll probably you know you're gonna have it's gonna be time consuming. But uh, you can do that. Like uh, always, pick the base color that you're gonna do, and uh, you can get the light and dark uh, colors from that. Uh, let me just make a little sample here. Like, um, example, let's make this little ball. And let's get the lighter color. We go here, and we're just going to get a lighter color. I'll just go lock the whites. So on the FX. And it didn't do that like I wanted. Oh, it's because I'm gonna Yeah. Anyways, um just gonna go here. And again I'm using a hard edge, but you can kinda work still. That way so you can see it. Colors are gonna be here on the edge. You can just softly go here. It will help if I remember to put a 50%. Okay. Sample here, the original color, and do it backwards. That way you can kind of blend them. The more you do it, um, it will become easier. And um, once you start getting the hang of it, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then you can add color to it. Like, um, you know, maybe the baby, there's a, another light, a secondary light, or for another highlight on the other side, like bounce lights and stuff like that. go here and kind of go down here mm -hmm. 
So you, yeah, you're gonna just go back and forth. Try to get them to blend as much as possible. But um, of course, if you're using a soft brush, it's gonna be a lot faster because it has more different levels of opacity, so. And um, like Tiot used to say all the time, we need to have a super highlight on here. So we'll just sample the white. It's going to be easier to use a softer brush. A lot easier. You see? As long as you kind of blend them, you're going to have to do it a, a bunch of times, and that works with everything, uh, with the skin, clothing, and all that stuff, and also this. Um, the hair thing, you're, not, you're probably not going to do a lot of blending, just you need to show highlight and dark, because hair is really, you know, they pick up everything, so... And then, uh, but you know, since hair sometimes is it has oils and stuff, uh, they bounce light a lot in certain areas. So you can do this, like you know, where it's folding, you can add like a highlight, uh, so you can show the reflection a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what. Uh, But you can try and see. I mean, you're gonna have to practice and and trial and error. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you. And uh, I hope you can hear me because I don't know how high the volume is. Okay. All right. If you have more questions, let me know. Okay.